Welcome to today's lesson on parts of a circle. Today, I'm going to teach you seven different terms that you're going to need to know when you're trying to identify different parts of a circle. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to begin today by identifying the different parts of a circle. Let's go ahead and start with the center. The center is the middle of the circle. Now from the center, we can get the radius. The radius is the distance from the center to the edge of the circle. Now the radius can occur at any point throughout the circle as long as it's a straight line from the center to the edge. The diameter is the distance from one edge to the other edge of a circle crossing through the center. An arc is part of the edge of the circle. Now as you can see, this arc is about one-fourth the way around the circle. However, an arc can be much larger or much smaller. Similar to the arc, the circumference also goes around the edge of the circle. However, it's different because the circumference measures the entire distance around the full edge of the circle. A central angle is an angle that is created that originates at the center of the circle. Now this angle can be acute, right, or obtuse as long as the vertex of the angle starts at the center of the circle. And lastly, we have the chord. The chord is a straight line which reaches one point of the circle to another point on the circle. However, unlike the diameter, the chord does not have to go through the center of the circle. Let's go through some practice problems together. Can you match the diagram to the vocabulary word? Let's go ahead and see if we can find the diagram which matches the word arc. What is arc? Well, an arc is a partial piece of the edge. So if we look through our different pictures, we're going to look through until we see part of our edge highlighted. And as you can see, we have this arc around our circle highlighted here, which means that's our diagram for arc. Let's go ahead and see if we can find the center of the circle. Which diagram best shows the middle of the circle? Well, if we look through our different diagrams, we only see one that identifies the center of the circle. Let's go ahead and look for the radius. Remember, the radius starts at the center of the circle and moves in a straight line to the edge of the circle. And if we look through our first diagram, we do have a line starting with the center of the circle moving to the edge, but we have more than one, so this represents an angle, not the radius. But our next diagram does show the radius of the circle. Let's move on to our next one, circumference. Which picture shows the entire distance around the edge of the circle? Well, we've already represented arc, and this didn't show the entire distance around the edge of the circle. However, this diagram does. Let's look for the chord. Remember, the chord is a straight line that reaches one edge and another edge on the circle. Now we have two diagrams which show a line going from one edge to the other edge of the circle. However, this line goes straight through the center, whereas this one does not. And since a chord does not need to go through the center, that is going to be our diagram. All right, we have two more words left. Let's look for the central angle. The central angle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle. Now we have two pictures left. And one picture represents an angle where the vertex is at the center of the circle. So that picture represents our central angle. And lastly, that leaves the diameter. The diameter is a straight line that reaches from one edge of the circle to the other, which passes through the center. Let's review what you've learned in today's lesson. The center of the circle is the middle of the circle. The radius goes from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. The diameter is the distance from one edge of the circle to another edge of the circle, crossing through the center point. A central angle is created when an angle is created from the center of the circle 
to the edge of a circle and this creates an angle. The arc is a distance around the edge of the circle. The circumference is the entire distance around the full edge of the circle. And lastly, the chord is the distance from one edge of the circle to the other point on another edge of the circle, but does not have to cross through the center.